In this video, we look at some reasons for poor vitamin absorption. This is a repurposed segment of a much longer video with the title, Do I Need to Take Vitamins? That video I made a long time ago, and you can find it on the YouTube channel. I think some of the principles in this video are really helpful, and I want people to understand them. So this particular segment or snippet of the longer video is on reasons for poor vitamin absorption, and we look at things that can interfere with vitamin absorption, including some of the digestive problems that can cause this. My name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test symptom or diagnosis. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, et cetera, click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. Some of us consume things on a daily basis that may be depleting our nutrient status or causing us to get rid of certain vitamins and minerals faster than we otherwise would be. you have any ideas on what that might be? So basically that's going to be like alcohol, caffeine, things like that are going to deplete your vitamin levels, nutrient levels, etc. So you might say, well, I already eat a good quantity of fruits and vegetables. I don't drink caffeine or all. So do I need to take a vitamin? And that leads us into the next thing we should look at with this, and that is absorption. So depending on what you eat, you may be consuming plenty of vitamins and minerals and nutrients, but there may be a problem with that getting into your body, meaning you may not be absorbing those vitamins and minerals. So here are some conditions, digestive issues and conditions that suggest you may not be absorbing or have the best absorption to get all the nutrition out of the foods that you eat. So there are actual digestive system issues like pernicious anemia, a gastroesophageal reflux, IBS, IBD, which is more Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, et cetera. Then there's also different functional digestive issues. So you may have done an endoscopy or seen a, a GI doctor and they said, you know, everything looks normal, but there's still some problems going on, meaning you're still having symptoms. That would typically be in the IBS category of stuff as well. But, you know, maybe you have like loose stools or indigestion, gas bloating, acid reflux, a constipation, things like this, you know, suggest that, you know, there could be inflammation going on in your digestive tract. This picture here is basically the villi and microvilli. So it's a cross section of the intestinal lining. And all these little things on the edge here are basically where the food is absorbed through that. And these can get damaged from inflammation. And that means you're not getting as much nutrients, the really fine nutrients as it's being broken down or through the digestive cells and into your body. So, you know, that's really important. Absorption is kind of a, a key thing. So if you're not absorbing these foods, you're obviously doing yourself any good by eating more fruits and vegetables. Maybe it's better than, you know, a poor diet, but you still need to take care of that. It may mean that you need more of specific vitamins, nutrients, minerals, et cetera depending on what's going on, like a pernicious anemia, for instance, is an autoimmune condition where your body attacks the intrinsic factor that is needed to absorb vitamin B12. And so if you have that, all the vitamin B12 going through the digestive tract in the world is not going to help you. You actually need to take injections or take a sublingual B12 in that case. So, so all this absorption stuff is also important. You know, that's not the end of the story, but if you have a lot of, a lot of inflammation going on, it's important to look at that and address that, but it also points to the fact that you may need to take more vitamins. One thing that I would add is to think about the type of vitamin you consume. So avoiding tablets and using capsules instead can be much better as far as absorption because they're easy to break down. A vegetarian capsule opens up very easily in your digestive tract, and then your body has access to them, whereas a compressed tablet takes much longer to get the ingredients in that into a liquid form so it can be absorbed. So in the next video on this topic, do we need to take vitamins? We'll look at the influence of medications on vitamin levels, vitamin absorption, and vitamin demand that the body might have as a result of taking certain medications. 
So that should give you a better understanding of some of the reasons for poor vitamin absorption. If you have any questions on this topic, drop it in the comment section. As always, I'm happy to answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.